Lakeshore students and we care for each other and what I wanted you to do is get in the mood to work on your family portrait. It's Miss Anderson and I'm not here today. I have a substitute because I'm at the doctor. However, you are going to work on your family portrait. So when the substitute comes in, you're going to get your bags out so you can work on it. And I'm thinking you might be still working on your drawing. And that's okay. We're drawing all the people of our family, including our pets and babies. Then we're going to draw a line across our picture. And that line stops when you get to a body. You're going to jump over the body, draw the line, jump over the body, draw the line, jump over the body, draw the line. Okay? So that's our line that separates the floor. And the wall, or when people are outside, it separates the ground and the sky. Okay, so you always have to have that line in there when you're doing a landscape picture. So, today you're going to be finishing with your drawing and then coloring with crayons. Okay. Now, what you probably noticed is that there is a black li line around everything, right? This one out. So, first you're going to go ahead and color everything with crayons. The wall, the floor, their clothes, their skin. It's very important that we make these look kind of real because our parents are going to see them, okay? So, after you color everything with crayon, then you can get a black Sharpie. You might not have one. If you don't have one, wait till next week and Miss Anderson will give you one to borrow, okay? If you do have a Sharpie, you're going to go ahead and draw over every line that you did with pencil. So all of the lines, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the ears, the hair, all of those little details you're going to do with Sharpie. That will help it show up really well, okay? Now, I don't think you're going to finish today. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But if you are finished, you're going to do the same thing if you're not, okay? So if you finish, we're going to put them right inside our sketchbook in the cover. That's going to keep our drawing safe, okay? It won't get bent, it won't get ripped, it won't get um, folded in half. Put it inside here and then inside your art bag, okay? So, what problems could we have? Okay, so five minutes before the end of class, the substitute's going to say, okay, it's time to clean up, and that's when you're going to put your things away, okay? If you're not finished, I don't want you to cry, okay? I want you to put it in your bag anyway, in your sketchbook, because Miss Anderson will be here next week, and I will let you work on finishing this. So you don't have to be upset if you don't finish. What if you finish early? Oh, my gosh. Well, my substitute will have a pile of free drawing paper. So if your family's all finished and you've outlined it with Sharpie, then you can put your picture away, raise your hand, and say, can I have a piece a free drawing paper, please. And then you can draw whatever you want, and your free drawings always go in your mailbox to go home today, okay? So thank you for listening to this, and I hope you have fun with your substitute. Maybe you can get her to play some music for you if you're good listeners. And I will see you next week. Have fun. <laughs>